What's going on, uh, guys? This is Jimmy Night G7. Welcome back to my next video. Um, this video is about nitro air and do you check your tire pressure on your truck? So, uh, for cars, for personal cars, your pickup, your Dodge Ram, your F-150, your basic normal car, sedan, sport car, whatever the case may be, I use Nitro Air, okay? This is not a advertisement, okay? No one pays me for this. This is beneficial information, good for you guys, okay? I recommend Nitro Air for your personal car. I had never tried Nitro Air on my semi truck. I wanted to, but it's gonna cost me, you know, more normal. I pay, and, and here in Houston, Texas, there's only one shop here in Houston near downtown that has Nitro Air. And I always go buy Nitro there, Air all the time, um, especially when I, I get a new new vehicle. It's thirty dollars, okay? They refills all your Nitro Air on your car. You need a refill, you come back, it's free, okay? The, the, uh, the life of the tire you own on those tires on your car, the life of the tires you own, the Nitro Air will be unlimited for those tires you already have and mounted on your car. Okay, and keeps record files on. Anyhow, what does the Nitro Air benefits? Okay, everybody knows compression air, air that we breathe. Okay, right now we're breathing 80% nitrogen air as we breathe air to breathe to live. Okay. But when you get nitro, when you get air from a pump or a truck stop to refill air on your tires, did you know the air in your tires, especially for your semi truck or even a personal car, okay, the air cools as you drive, it gets hot. Am I right? Now, let's say you pump 35 psi on your personal car. When you drive, it's going to hit 40 psi. Why? Because as those tires are rolling down the freeway, down the road where you're driving, it gets hot, the tire gets hot, the air inside in the tire gets hot, and it expands. When it does that so much, you tend to lose air. When you hit potholes, bumps, whatever, you're going to start losing air. <clears throat> Within a week or two or a month, I don't know if you guys, you got, you're supposed to check your tire pressure air on your personal car. That way, if it's low, you refill it. If it's high, you release some of the air out, okay? Same thing goes with a semi-truck. Same, same thing, okay? The semi-truck takes a little more beating because we're hauling these loads, and then we have 80,000 pounds, including the load that we have, hauling a reefer, dry van, flatbeds, tankers, whatever the case may be, wherever you're hauling. You're hauling a lot of heavy stuff, and those drive tires right there, they fluctuate most of the time, you know? Most of the time, it's your steer tires, fluctuate the more than your, your than your drive tires. The drive tires, they're mostly the same. Okay, so let me give you guys a little example. Okay, so the drive tires, these two will be the same. The other side will be the same. So let's say I had 95 PSI here, but they're both gonna be the same. If I had a 100 PSI on each of those tires over there, they will be the same. But with that side will be the same on this side of the tires, it will not it will fluctuate because why when we hook up a trailer to our fifth wheel and haul loads these tires here are holding up the weight your steer tires are also very important okay and the reason why your steer tires are very important because you steer a truck if you turn the whole loads and the truck and the, and the load you're carrying turns with you okay so why did i make this video why did i why what's this all about okay well, let me give, let me give you a take on my let me give you take my take on that. Okay, nitro air. Okay, nitro air benefits you in a big big way. Nitro air does not get hot, does not get cold. Nitro air stays the same the whole entire time compared to the air you buy or get free at a truck stop or at a gas station or even go to a discount tire to get air. Those air will always fluctuate hot and cold, hot and cold. As, you, as you're as parking, you send your car, the air in there is your PSI, it's cold. Okay, the temperature in this, inside the air is get cold. As you start driving, 
those tires get hot, the air inside it gets hot, guess what happens? It expands. That's just the, na the nature uh, of the way it is, of science, okay? Man, it's hot outside. I'm just swimming it's my ass off. Now, nitro air, okay? Nitro air saves fuel. So if your tire pressure are the same the whole entire time, you save money on fuel, okay? You save, you save money on wear and tear uh, on your tires as well. That means this tire will not burn, will not go fast. It will not burn those treads than the front tire. Why? Because they're the same PSI. Now, if you have your front tires on low PSI and you got high PSI here, guess what happens? Your steer tires is going to be having more wear and tear on the tire than normal. Okay. Nitro air is consistent no matter what condition you are. When you have nitro air on your personal car, if you put 35 PSI on those tires, Hot or cold, it doesn't matter. The temperature, the PSI will stay the same. I've been using nitro air on my car for four years, okay? I check uh, once a month, okay? It's like one PSI off every time, every time. Even on this car, I just put nitro air in this car last week. Still the same, okay? You, when you drive, you have more cushion. When you drive, you feel the, the tires are full at all time. It also, uh, the natural air also slowly leaks to compare it to regular, regular air on your tires, okay? Anyhow, it saves you up to $300 a year on maintenance on putting air in your tires on your personal car. I have never tried natural air on my, on my semi truck yet, but who knows how much he charged me to, to air up two, four, six, eight, ten 10 tires with natural air. And these tires are huge. By the time you fill up, all my tires on my, on my semi truck, he probably ran out, out of, out of nitric air in his tanks because it takes so much air. You know, the steer tires on our semi truck takes 110 PSI. The drive tires are 100 PSI each. You do the math. The personal car is only 35 PSI. See? So it takes a lot more air than normal. Would I suggest putting nitric air in a truck? I don't know. <laughs> I can't give you an answer to that. I never tried it. Anyhow, saves you money, saves you money on fuel up to $300 a year. Just having nitro air on your personal car or pickup truck, okay? The future of pressure, of tire pressure, okay? This is what it's over here. The future of tire pressure, maximize that the tire pressure, tire life, fuel economy, safety and comfort, handling, helping the environment. You increase your fuel economy, your tire life, safety and reliability and handling and it gets better for the environment just for having nitrogen air on your in your car or your personal vehicle okay go ahead and top it off pump up your driving experience okay 164 dollars a year fuel and savings 62 dollars a year and in increased tire life per year increased safety okay i'm not lying to you i use this i've been using this for four years never have a problem okay never have a problem when you put nitro air on your tires, especially on your personal car, you will put red caps. I mean, not red caps, green caps. See? Green caps means you have nitro air on all four tires, okay? All four tires. Now, I, now you know more about nitrogen air. Where you suggest putting nitro air in your personal car, I really highly, highly recommend it. Find your nearest nitro air dealer or, or tire shop that has nitro air. Try it for yourself and you give me your opinion, okay? This video will be on my YouTube and it's gonna stay there within, uh, say, a year, a month, or six months, whatever year nitro air you experience it. Tell me your thoughts and your opinion to see if I'm right or wrong, okay? Moving on. Now we got nitro air out of the way. Do you, check your, do, you, do you check your tire pressure? Do you do your pre-trip pre and post-trip and also check your tire pressure? A lot of drivers, especially common drivers, are lazy. They don't tend to do that, okay? When you're owner or operator, you're a must-have. Really, really must-have, okay? Everybody knows what this is. It tells you your PSI for your semi-truck. This works on a personal car, too. Well, maybe not, because the, the valve systems are bigger than normal, but oh, this is more than made for semi-trucks, okay? Everybody knows what this is, okay? This here, my friend, is a hose. 
Everybody know what this is. You can buy this at the Love's Truck Stop. Uh, maybe Flying J, maybe TA, Travel, uh, Travel America Truck Stops, Petro, um, Pilot. I don't, I'm not too sure if they carry them, but I know Love's has these. I bought this at Love's. That's how I know about it, okay? Um, how does it work? Okay, this right here costs 40 bucks, okay? It goes from, this here connects to your airline hose that goes to your trailer. This end here refills your air and your tires, okay? Now what happens when you don't check your tires? When you don't check your pressure tires on your drive tires and your steer tires? Let me show you why. Let me show you why checking your tire pressure on your semi truck is very, very important. When you don't check your PSI and you don't make sure both sides are the same. These are steer tires, by the way, okay? If you don't check your tires on your steer tires or drive tires, if they're off by five PSI, let's say one side is 95, uh, 95 PSI and the other one is 90, or let's say this one was 98 PSI and the other was 90 PSI, what will happen over time when you keep on driving without putting air in that tire? I'll show you why. You see this right here? That's a bald spot right there. Continuing on. Look, you can tell. Bald spot, see that? Wear and tear, uneven wear and tear. This whole side right here is bald, okay? If you keep on going, you'll see it. Look, see? It's not even even, it's a gap right there. See, the gap is long all the way up, up here. See that? Keep on going. Look, here's another one. Look, see? Small ball spot right there, okay? Everybody knows on a semi tire, they're not cheap. Look, there's another lane right here. This whole lane right here is, 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 is not even. Look, if I put diagonal on side by side with the tire, you can see. See? It's not even. It's not even. It's not even even okay wear and tear see that look at that big look at this big huge spot right here see that see that uneven wear so If you don't check your steer tires, if you don't check your drive tires on your truck, okay, you will have uneven wear and you're gonna spend money buying tires for your truck. Everybody knows steer tires, drive tires are not cheap. You know, you buy, you gotta buy good tires for your steer tires. You can go cheap on your drive tires, but the steer tires is the very most dangerous to have cheap tires on front, okay? Some people can get away with it, some people don't, okay? That steer tire holds up your front of your end of your truck, it holds up your motor, and that's the only thing that touches the ground and steers left and steers right when you turn left or turn right with your load, when you're hauling your load on your semi truck. Tires, these Firestones that I bought at Tire Depot they were like 450 a piece. 450 a piece. That's not including taking off my old one and putting on a new one and refilling the air. I bought both Spirit Tears tires, driver's side and passenger side, cost me $1,058 with labor, including putting on and taking off the old one, putting a new one on and putting air in it. These tires are here. This is my original tire when I first got this truck. Now I got Firestone, okay? I'm keeping this one as a spare just in case my trailer needs it. But my other tire was so bad. So I had to buy new stair tires. You see how much threads left on those tires? Is it worth your money to buy more tires and put on your truck so you keep on working? Or you wanna be lazy and not checking your, pre, uh, your, your, your tire pressure and your shocks for uneven wear, okay? And start replacing tires up the ass. 
would you rather replace tires every two, three times a year, or you rather replace it once a year or once a year and a half, and it costs you and you save money and and instead of you instead of you putting out money to buy new tires on your truck, being lazy of not checking your shocks and your tire pressure on your truck can have wear and tear, bald spots, okay, everything, it's not worth it. All right, guys. So again, okay, I recommend you get one of these. You can go to any truck stop; they should have them. I bought this a love, so I know for sure loves have them. Okay, they're like thirty nine 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 for these hoes. Try and find the longest one. There are one like twenty uh, thirty dollars, but I don't think that will reach to your trailer. So if you pay the extra five seven dollars, you get a longer hose, and it'll reach to your airline hose, back of your truck, all the way to your trailer tires. As you can see. Everybody knows this is the must tool I have to check your tire pressure, pressure tires, PSI tire, a PSI in your tires to see how much air is in there before you refill it. Okay, so as you can see, <clears throat> here an example. This one here is the airline brake to your trailer. You hook this up, goes out, goes all the way out, and reach all the way over there. To the end of this okay you need a long hose to reach to your trailer tires okay this is for your inside tire this is for your outside tire okay so when you check your air pressure tire on your on your and on your on your semi truck okay and the reason why i made this video here is for educational purpose and i recommend buying these for yourself okay so, in order to check 18 tires, because your truck has, and trailer, you have 18 tires. If you're on a rapper, it's a must have to do. I don't know about your company drivers, if you guys want to do it, if you're lazy or what, but a lot of truck drivers don't do it, okay? They don't check their pressure, they don't check their PSI pressures in the tires, steer tires, drive tires, trailer tires. Some do, some don't. I'm not gonna speak for everybody, but I know most cases, a lot, especially company drivers, they don't check them, okay? But when you do, Check your air tires on your truck and trailer. Check the PSI and refill the air. You're looking at about 30 minutes to 45 minutes, roughly around there. If you're there for like an hour, I don't know what the hell you're doing. Okay, it don't take that long to check the pressure tire on your tires and refill them with air. Okay, especially when you're really funny. When you check these tires on your trucks and trailer, it shouldn't take no more than 20 minutes, 50, 20 minutes. But if you need air, if you haven't checked your, your, your all your tires. For a little while for like a month or two months yeah there might be a low on a lot of spots so you look at about 30 minutes to 45 minutes to check the air and put air pressure back into those tires so they can run properly so you have bare you have more fear of wear and tear on your, on your tires instead of going ball spots like i just showed you over there okay now you check your tire pressure it's low you take it out you take this in you stick it in you get air. You hold, 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 two, three minutes, pull out, put it in, check the air, see how much air pressure it is in there again. Oh, I need five more PSI. Stick it back in there, take this out, stick it back in there. It's a lot of time consuming. Everybody hates the work, right? Everybody hates doing the, putting air in the tires. So, I have an alternative for that, okay? So, I recommend getting one of these. It makes checking your tires easier, faster, and more efficient. Get things done. I also recommend one of these. If you don't know where it is, I will tell you. And also bought me one of these. You get it? I bought, I bought this off Amazon. I bought this off Amazon. I did not buy this Amazon. I bought this at uh, JB Tools. I'll add the link to the bottom for these tools here if you guys want to buy this thing here. Okay. So, first off, what the hell is this? Okay. 
This here has an, uh, where you take out the plug to release all the air out of your tires. And at the other end is a, 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 just a hole. And what is the purpose of this tool? This is a Kin Tool brand, okay? What does this does is that if you're doing tire checks and you're checking your area tires, you can reach this stem here. But the other stem there, when it has a cap on it, as in so, you can't reach it with your finger because it's all the way in there, okay? Especially your trailer tires. So what is the purpose of this? This wheel will reach all the way in there, stab it in, okay? And start turning counterclockwise to release the cap. That way you can check the pressure tire on this tire and put air in it. When you're done, <clears throat> when you're done, all you do is take the cap here, cap, stick it back in, as so, go back in there and start screwing it in. Okay, it's that simple, okay? That's the purpose main of this tool here, okay? Now, now you know what that is. You're wondering what the hell is in that box? And I will tell you. Whoa, I'm trying to do this while, while I'm doing all this. Okay, so this tool here will save you a lot of time and make your job a lot easier, okay? So this here is called a tire truck inflator with a dial case, dial, dial cage. This is what it looks like. Come on, I tell you the pressure of your pressure of the air side of the tire and you can put air in it when and off. That way, you don't have to worry about, that way you don't have to worry about checking the air pressure, not enough air, take it back out, plug this one in, get more air, you're not too sure if it meets to that PSI yet, or 100 PSI or 110 PSI, pull it back out, pull it in to see how much air pressure again, oh, I need three more, close it, take this off, plug this back in and hold it. It's a lot of time consuming. So, I bought this, so when you stick it in and get your air pressure, you look at your gauge right here, oh, it needs more air, hold it. Let go, a little bit more. So it's faster, easier to maintain your tires and maintain your air pressure in your tires, okay? So, I bought this to put it on this. So what I'm gonna do with this, I'm gonna take this off and plug this into this quick disconnect, then hook it to this. So let's get to it. So what I'm gonna need to do, I'm gonna need a 5.8 wrench and some um, plumbing um, uh, sealant uh, threads. They're, they're for plumbing, but you can buy them, they're like a dollar, 50 cents or whatever. You can buy them at your local hardware store. I bought this at Amazon, because I don't have time to go shopping sometimes. So let's go and get to it, all right? So, Man, it's hot outside. So I'm gonna pull this down. And undo this. Oh, let me another one. Nope, not that one. Yeah. Okay, so you also need a 916, 916, and a 58. So the 916 holds this brass right here. And this one here goes on top and you break it free. Okay. So now I'm gonna put some plumbing supply on here so it can seal the air as the air processed through this hose. If I can find the goddamn man, when the hell the end is. When the hell is the end? Jesus, it's like seamless, man. I can't even see. Is that it? Hopefully that's it. Yep, okay. We are the music makers, and we are the dreamers of dreams.
Because replacing tires costs a lot of money. Just because you do not want to check your pressure on your air tires. Man, they're not wide enough. Um, and maintain air pressure on your tires to do your job. So, I'm doing it because tires are expensive. I'm not gonna be buying tires all the time just because I'm lazy to not check my shocks and my air pressure on my tires, on my semi tires. Man, this thing is so damn thin, that should make this a little more wider, but it'll work for now. Alright guys, we're back. Okay, so I already installed uh, the quick disconnect for this already. And I already installed the butt of this already. So pretty much there you go. Good to go. So now I gotta dial air pressure leading inside for air for my tires. So I'm done with that. Cool. Pull apart. Good to go. Easy, not hard. To invest a little bit of money, to make your job a lot easier, do your job, save your money, save wear and tear, no more, uh, save wear and tear on your tires and have no more wear and tear on your tires instead of replacing your tires every two, three years, check your air pressure, check your shocks, you're good to go, okay? So, hope, you, I hope this video here is very educational for you and, um, Give me some thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share. Tell me what you think about this setup, how to do this, and have this kind of tool on your on your setup, on your rig. So when you need air in your tires, you got um, tools to do it. And you don't have to worry about paying somebody to do it for you. You can just do it on the fly. And this here will be happy to do it very, very quick. You know, so at, this here was like seven bucks. You know, seven, eight bucks off Amazon for this nipple and this nipple here for quick disconnect. Man, this, you know, hole is 40 bucks. This was, this unit here was, I believe it was $69. $69 or $89, one of those. But I'll add the link down below for you guys, if you guys can see, again, this unit here uh, for your tools, to add more tools to your, um, for your rig, okay? So I hope you guys like the video, give me, again, Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs like. Share, comment, subscribe. Tell me what your thoughts are. And uh, that'll be all, okay? Catch you guys later. Peace.